Now, one of the things where people go wrong is in marriage when the marriage is struggling. Remember, marriage is a very big sacrifice. If you are going to sacrifice, you will be happy. If not, it will become a crisis. So if you want to protect yourself from the crisis within marriage, learn to trust one another and don't give reason for your spouse not to trust you. So while we're teaching you to trust one another, we're telling you don't give reason for the other not to trust you. So this is a very balanced statement. We must make sure we don't pry and spy on each other because the Almighty has warned us about that. Similarly, speak good with each other, help each other, reach out to each other. Don't put pressure or don't actually ask one another to do that which is going to be difficult, very difficult, because then it might create a crack in that marriage. But the Almighty says, you know what? As much as it's a sacrifice, we want you to love each other, we want you to have children together and to bring those children up in my obedience, the Almighty says. That's the whole aim. It's not about having children and having more children and you don't even look after them and you're not even bothered. That defeats the whole purpose. But if you have children and you look after them and you give them a good upbringing, then you will be from among those who's protected from crisis. Many people have children and the children are the reason that they're upset and in crisis. The children sometimes are the source of their hardship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not let that happen to us.